Oh, wow. Oh, this is good. This is really, really, really good. Well, I didn't get far, now it's overheating, so. Oh, that's the poo water. That's... It looks like sewage. Oh, no. What does that one taste like, wizard? I don't think I'm going to taste that one. <laughs> no? no? You're not? I know what that you is. You taste everything. I don't need to identify what it is. <laughs> Welcome to Hoovies Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And today is a fantastic day because I got a phone call from the car wizard and he said that my Corvette is not only running, but it is running and driving. This 1966 Chevrolet Corvette 427 Coupe, the first year of the big block 427. And I bought it not even a week ago, barely running from a barn or a storage building, whatever you guys want to call it. It was a barn find in my eyes. It's, it's a barn find. And it was all kind of taken apart. He had put a new five-speed transmission in it, a new shifter, a modern five-speed. This thing came with a four-speed that was called the Rock Crusher, known for, well, not crushing rocks, but a very tough transmission that whined. He replaced it with a modern transmission, modern shifter, and now it is all, it's all put together. There were some other things that needed to be put together as well, and I guess, I guess it's all done. We'll consult with the car wizard and then, and then drive it? Wizard! You wonderful, wonderful man, you. It's a living, breathing Corvette again. Oh, I'm basking in the Nassau blue again. Mm -hmm. And I see everything is put together and tidy in here. You got me a reservoir for my clutch, huh? That's a Willwood reservoir, yes. Okay. And we haven't updated the brakes yet. You just you just filled them up, right? Yeah, and they work. I think the guy put all the hoses and upgrades and things, and that's as far as he got. He didn't get any fluid in it. Once we got fluid in it, they're fine. Okay, so the clutch works. Yes. Brakes work. Yeah. And shifter is in. It is in. I think it could use a boot to hide the bolts, but nothing was included with the car. We're going to have to research and see what could go there to make it look right. Well, that looks pretty good, and it's a short throw shifter, huh? It clicks into gear very nicely. So it feels good? Yes. Okay, well, one other thing I wanted to check on this car before I go is we were debating whether it has original paint, and I was doing some research, and I guess if it is original paint, then it'll have this dot right by the cowling, and uh, when it gets repainted, of course, they sand this away. For some reason in the factory, they put a little dot here, some kind of raised bump, and it has the dot. It's still there. It's still there. So this this is an original paint from the factory, Nassau Blue 427 Coupe. The, the engine is not numbers matching, no. unfortunately, but uh, looks like it's a lot more fun than what the original engine was. Mm -hmm. Have you driven it yet? Uh, Mike has driven it, Magic Mike. He says it drove fine. Okay, so it has been out once. But now I'm I'm the ultimate stress tester, obviously. Yeah, we haven't done any burnouts or anything crazy. We just verified that it runs and drives. Okay, well, I'm going to take it easy at first, and then I guess we'll see, huh? Yeah, we'll see. So it has fresh fuel in it? The old fuel's out? It has fresh fuel. You're going to need to get some more fuel, but we got enough in there for the road test. Okay, all right. And a fresh oil change. Okay, no five-year-old oil. That's good. Yep. All right, well, I guess I'll start it up. See what the shifter feels like. Oh my goodness. That is, <laughs> that belongs in like a new Porsche, not a 60s Corvette. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, that's like, oh, smooth action. That's great. Clutch, clutch is very firm, yep. but not, not too firm. All right. <laughs> Wizard. Turn right over. Wizard. Holy smokes. All right, Nassau blue in the sun. Oh, it's it's so pretty. And the shifter is amazing. Clutch is firm, maybe a little too firm, but not that bad compared to say other exotic cars. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, this is good. This is really, really, really good. And actually smooth too. The tires, they don't feel out of round. Are you sure you were sitting for five years? Obviously the steering wheel is way off because they added power steering, 
So it needs an alignment, but it's it's going down the road straight. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling good enough about this car to get it up on a highway on ramp here, so I can open it up a little bit. Huh. Okay. Seems seems a little down on power at the higher RPM, but it's going. It may need some tuning on the carb. After all, I did force a lot of rotten gasoline down its throat and it's been sitting forever and things dry up in there. But overall, <laughs> it shouldn't be driving this well. It really shouldn't. The uh, fuel gauge is showing empty, empty though. So I'll stop for some gas. This, this is unbelievable. The nice thing about that rear race tank back there is you can fill it up from either side. Whether it's most convenient, you can pull up to either side of the gas pump, no problem. Uh, this thing's driving so well. I think, I think I need to take it on a longer test drive. So I'm just going to let the wizard know <laughs> that it's not coming back anytime soon. Wizard. What's up? Hello, wizard. Um, driving the Corvette, huh? Yes, you fixed the tachometer and you didn't tell me it's working. Yes, it's alive. What'd you do? Uh, we had to buy an adapter, an MSD adapter for the distributor, and it worked perfectly. Okay, well, it's it's driving so well uh, that I think I'm going to test it a little bit more. Oh, it's not coming back. No, no, you may you may see me in a day or two. <laughs> oh, okay, in a day or two. That's all right. No problem. Well, we're just filming here at the Starion, and... Oh, uh, that's Urination Bob's car. The Euro-Asian Bob's car. Urination Bob's car, yes. Well, have fun okay. with that, and I will... Uh, Enjoy this uh, 427. Hopefully, I come back on my own power and not a flatbed, but it's, it's doing great. Oh, it's doing great. Awesome. Yes. All right. All right. Well, enjoy. Bye, Wizard. Yeah, let's, let's take this thing home for sure. Oh, yes. Well, I didn't get far, now it's overheating, so let's get it back here. Well, it got a little hot, just just a little bit hot. Uh, pulled over about two miles from the car wizards and uh, wait for it to cool off and then I will putt putt back to his shop. Darn, darn. And he is. Maiden voyage. I asked a lot for this car, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the car has been sitting for a long time. What do you think, wizard? Is it the thermostat? Could be, could be the the fan's not working very well. How do you check that? When it's hot, it should be starting to stiffen up. That's too, it turns too easy. Might need a thermal clutch fan. Squirted a little fluid out, but not much. Yeah. That's an aluminum radiator. Yes. I bet the thermostat is no good. Okay. But we'll get a thermostat on it. We'll put a new thermal clutch fan. That should take care of it. Then I'll try it again. I'm the best test driver there is, Wizard. You know that. Really, it it's is. Stress I mean, tester. This is what happens when a car sits for five years. You just have to get it out there and drive it and see what's going to happen. And you have to work your way through. This guy forgot to do this, forgot to do that. Well, that's just if it's a sticky thermostat that's yeah. from sitting, right? Yeah, but there may be other things as you drive it more. Who knows? All right, well, to be continued. Yep. I'm not disappointed yet. Not, not even close. I'm back. I'm back. Well, you guys are always here, but I'm back. It's been a few days, and to recap, the car badly overheated. Uh, I was trying to drive it home, and I turned around because it was overheating, and I guess Wizard knows why, yes? Yes. The cooling system, from sitting so long, is so full of rust, it's like caked inside the radiator. Really? Yep. So, some nasty water then, huh? Very some nasty, nasty water. I just did one round of it. It's all sitting down at the bottom still, Good. though. There it is. Yeah. Oh, that's the poo water. That's... It looks like sewage. Oh, no. That's it. In the bottom of there is all flakes of rust and all kinds of nastiness. Well, that's not from the aluminum radiator, so is that the block that's rusted, or what's yeah, what's causing that? It's from the block is where it came from. Cast iron block. Mm -hmm. So that's from coolant going bad and getting corrosive, right? Like just putting in straight water? Mm-hmm. Luckily, we were able to flush it out. We'll get it cleaned out, and it'll be fine, but... There was just flakes and flakes and flakes all inside the radiator. What does that one taste like, Wizard? 
I don't think I'm going to taste that one. <laughs> no? <laughs> no? You're not? I know what that you is. You taste everything. I don't need to identify what it is. <laughs> okay. So the second issue was when I got on the throttle, there wasn't any power. It was actually shuddering a little bit, about 3,000 RPM. Almost like we hit a rev limiter, but uh, I looked in the ignition, which is under there under that blanket, and you pull off the little tab, and it was set at 6,200 RPM, which is the right RPM. Yes. Oh, Wizard doesn't have fingernails. But yeah, it's set at the right RPM under there, so it was something else, and Wizard discovered it pretty quickly with this carburetor, huh? Yeah, the four barrels, the vacuum secondaries were not even functioning. This carb's been setting so long that all the little passages, all the things in there are just all gunked up. It probably didn't help that I started it up with five-year-old fuel, but I wanted to hear it run. Right. And rebuilding these things, you know, takes time, a lot of effort, and really replacements, they aren't that expensive. Right. And it looks just like it, so I guess it showed up in the box here. New Holly four barrel. Brand new. Brand new. Looks absolutely identical, except nice and clean. Yeah, for the cost it would take for me to go through and clean all that and the gaskets, you're not too far away just to buy a new carburetor. It doesn't make sense anymore to rebuild them. Right. So, easy enough. We'll... Yep. Do some more flushing. I guess Magic Mike can do that part and maybe I'll play with a carburetor. Well, in typical fashion, as it normally works out, uh, whoever's more capable usually takes pity on me or is very concerned about what I'm doing and just completely takes over. I had the linkages all wrong. I had a lot of things all wrong. He's basically doing everything over again. I've saved him zero. I've, I've added time to this job, actually. But the carburetor is on. The carburetor is on. And now we can go back to flushing poo water. Maybe I can help with that or at least observe. And then give it another try. So that's a garden hose. That's a garden hose. We're gonna flush out your radiator. We got your upper radiator hose disconnected. We're gonna run some through there. We're gonna run some through here. And we're gonna run some through your lower radiator hose as well. You've already done this once. I've already done this once. We're probably gonna have to do it three or four times. Ah, uh, until the water's clear. Till it's clear. Till it's not poo. Till it's not poo. Wonderful. Oh, that's, that's still very brown. Still very brown. That is all-you-can-eat Taco Tuesday <laughs> with a bean burrito for dessert. Gross. Like flushing a sewer. It's a Nassau Blue Corvette Wizard. It's not a sewer. <laughs> you might change your mind if you look at the bucket down there. You guys are just cleaning the radiator. Wait till you clean out the actual engine where all the gunk came from. Oh, this is the thermostat housing. So brown and rusty in there. Oh no. Thinking of sewage drainage, I think I need to go hit the bathroom myself. I'll be back in a little bit. Just snug them up a little bit. Okay. And then we'll see how she does. Oh. That's not looking too bad. Oh, okay, it's a little brown. Yeah. And there's some green. Yep. That's good. Okay. Well, she's all flushed, huh? All flushed. I see the new thermostat's on. New thermostat's on. Fan clutch going any? Going any. Maybe. Wizard is is observing. Yes, I'm doing management. He's managing. <laughs> yeah. This thing's gonna be amazing when you get the four barrels working like they should be. I bet it's gonna just burn rubber all over the place. Green going in. Yeah. Green concentrate going in. So we already got some water kind of sitting in the block and a little bit in the heater core as well. So we're gonna do about three bottles of this pure concentrate. He's a very professional wizard. Yeah, unlike me. <laughs> I learned from the best. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Carburetor probably needs a little bit of an adjustment. Oh yeah, that throttle is much, much better. All four barrels opening up. What? All four barrels. All four barrels. That's good. 
It sounds a little, a little ticky though. Yeah, I think you got something going on on this side. We'll probably have to make a valve adjustment on it. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to make it. Oh yeah, you can feel it, yeah. We'll have to make a valve adjustment on it, do both sides. They are solid lifters. Yeah. Wizard! Is this is a solid lifter car, right? Yes. So you need to go through with feeler gauges and hopefully nothing's messed up from sitting for so long. I hope not, but I don't I don't think it is. It just needs a, a valve adjustment. And I think we'll be golden. If it is, it's pretty simple up there, right? There's yeah. no it's not tough to do at all. Right. But driving it home today, probably not the wisest idea with it making that ticking noise just in case. Yeah, we need to get that taken care of before you take it back on the road again. Okay. We also so. like to road test it and make sure it's not going to overheat again. Right, right. Okay. So a little bit of a to be continued, but progress. Yes. I did get to drive it briefly. You did. Very exciting. Well, to be continued, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Subscribe, make sure you don't miss any more updates on this car. I'm very bad at endings. Thank you for watching. Oh, that's, that's still very brown. Still very brown.